Select. Set options. Customize your menu screen. Select the store. I'm Dr. Eggman, the greatest scientific genius of the world. The Batgirl Rouge joined our forces and we came back to Prison Island. We came here to locate the Chaos Emerald that is stored somewhere in the military research facility. I will go in first to distract the troops. Then we will carry out our plan. My name is Shadow. Hmm. How pathetic. Who do these people think they are? Life is cool? Huh. I'll make sure that they live and learn the real truth. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. That's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds, use the machine to dominate the world, and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Hey, hey, this is Ninstar Bros signing in once again, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 battles and more cutscenes. Jesus Louise! Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. Very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. 
I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Alright, welcome to Weapons Bed. Can I go to sleep here? Seriously. Nah, not really. But this is the Weapons Bed. So Weapons Bed is... Well, we're just only here to distract the military. So, Rouge and Shadow can do their evil schemes. Aww, as if Rouge had to be evil. Seriously. Go oh, seriously. Pretty epic by the way, did you see that? You can lock on so many enemies at once. So cool. And speaking of which, there's something over here that we need to grab. Da 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 da! Another power up. Large cannon. Vulcan cannon power up. Now you can break through iron containers. Just like Tails' um, bazooka. So now we've got a large cannon. Thanks to the gun army, I would say so. Ooh, totally didn't see you. Ooh, he, he. Anyways, the large cannon breaks iron containers, and that's what we need. Got introduced pretty early for Eggman. Alrighty. So this stage can get hectic. It's kind of a, it kind of feels like uh, Metal Harbor in a way, but you're doing Eggman style. Yep. So essentially. We're back on Prison Island to, um, this is where Shadow was located and found when Eggman was released. And we're back here because, well, apparently there is Chaos Emerald here according to Rouge the Bat. And Eggman wasn't really sure. And then Rouge goes, well, believe what you want to believe. And he goes, hmm, very well. Very well. Alrighty. So, essentially, we are just distracting the military. So, um, Rouge and, um, Shadow can go in undetected. So, yep, that's right. Simple as that. A job easily done, if you ask me. Man, if these jets can only take one bullet, then that's a serious problem. Honestly, the military should consider maybe better weaponry. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed when I started off this mission, but the more enemies you lock on at once, the better combo you can get. Like, extremes. And if you guys noticed at the very start, I got a perfect, which was like a rainbow color, which is really cool. Definitely good for your point score. You do this, you tend to do this a lot in this level, so you need to rely on them big time. Alrighty, here we go. So we hit the checkpoint. Break the iron container so we can get across. Oh, a hawk. Get lost. I don't support the hawk. Who supports hawks these days anyway? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about AFL footy. So yeah, like, there's a team called the Hawk. Um, or AKA Hawthorn. Totally don't support them. If you guys weren't... Oh uh, well, all those perfects and extreme shots that I got earlier was a waste. And now I am just going to get a bad score in the end. Oh well, shit happens. That's what happens when you talk about Hawthorne, the pathetic football club. Who likes Hawthorne anyway? I'm totally going to get some dislikes because of this. Anyways, so if you guys were wondering what AFL team that I go for then, well, my friends obviously knows, and it's definitely not Essendon, but, <laughs> um... Now, the team I go for, I kind of gave it a shout-out, I think on my third episode of this Let's Play. I said, I said, uh, when I was playing through Tails' mission, I'm like, don't shoot anything that's blue, it's like the Navy Blues, that's right. Well, I go for the Navy Blues, which is aka Carlton. And that's the team 
that never let you down. Anyway, so I'm going real off topic by the way now. So, yeah, so, anyway, so yeah, that, that is footy. Uh, that, that is AFL rule, AF, um, Aussie rules football. I love it. It's great sport. I love playing, I uh, love going and um, watch the games with my friends. Um, I go for Carlton. Most of them go for Essendon. That's the reason why I said that. Essendon, if you must be wondering, are call, uh, known as the Bombers. And speaking of bombing, we got plenty of bombing in this level on its own, haven't we? Like, lots of bombers. I think we're almost at the end of the level, by the way. There it is, I can see the goal ring. Anyway, so it's a pretty short level, but, um, yeah, I totally died, so I'm not gonna get a fantastic score. I blame the bombers for that one. Let's see what I get. That was too close. Yeah, I blame the bombers. Sorry, even Steven, but it's totally the bombers' fault. I got bombed into the water. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, it's Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! So again, doesn't that kind of look a little familiar? Put two and two together, it's the very start of Tails' scene with this scene, and there you guys have it. Now we're playing the opposite role. Now we're fighting Tails instead of um, battling Eggman. And I got my new cannon power up, which has already done half the damage towards Tails. Putting up quite a fight. Look at that smirk coming out of Eggman's machine. Looks like he's doing a fart. <laughs> That's just me messing around now. Anyways, security hall. Find the three Chaos Emeralds in five minutes. I'm in position, Doctor. Tell me when. There's been an unexpected delay on my end. There's no more time to waste. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Let's go, Rouge. Five minutes should be plenty. Here I go. Alright, so we gotta get the Chaos Emerald before the military finds us. Alright, so... We got five minutes because Rouge was a smart aleck saying, Yeah, five minutes will be plenty. Here I go! But it turns out five minutes could be absolutely, well... Deadly. Yeah. We only got five minutes. So we gotta go fast! Alrighty, come on Rouge, come on. Where is this Emerald? It's... Damn it. Gotta be somewhere. Let's go to the next level. Alrighty. So security hall is a pretty cool stage. Aha! Found it! What an awkward place to put it. Alrighty. But here it is. It's right under here. Alright. So that was one emerald. And that was the red emerald. Now, let's see. Three more emeralds to find. So, two more. And one's in the safe. Now, speaking of safe, they're just like digging. Dig in the center. And that's how you unlock it. Two, uh, one more emerald to go. Wow, why am I counting one extra emerald this time? And we've still got three and a half minutes to go. Which is more than enough time. I'm getting some sort of signal. Eee, don't want to touch those. Hmm, I wonder where it is. Ah, might be up in the higher section. Alright, hit the spring and take this leather up. And there's the golden beetle, which is by chance really hard to hit. I honestly need some rings. Oosh! There it is. 
got it. Well, we definitely did it easier than five minutes. But, yeah, Rouge being a smart addict like that, just saying, yeah, five minutes will be plenty, even though I have 15. How is that? Perfect? Like me? But I guess it gets to prove her being perfect. Can't complain! Enjoy this cutscene. This is Blind Dog Headquarters. Intruder found entering security hole. Preparing to attack. Copy that. Now, doesn't that look familiar yet again? More mech warriors. But this is now called Flying Dog. Flying Dog is a little different from Bigfoot and Hotshot. Again, Bigfoot just flew around and shoot you. Um, Hotshot um, flew around, shoot at you, as well as stopped and shoot like a bigger cannon at you. But fl um, Flying Dog. Um, is always in the air because, well, seems fitting for Rouge the bat. Haha. So yeah, he will never land. You have to hit him aerial. And just climb these gates on the side here. Fly and hit him when you can. You can hit him with your dig. Or you can hit him um, when he stops um, in midair when he's staring you down. Like a lost soul. Haha, there we go. So you can hit him on his approach. Now he's firing his bigger cannon. <laughs> he's obviously turned on by Rouge's sexiness. Alrighty. Uh, flying his big shot. Hey. He's flying dog. I know something else that's flying. Eh. 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 Ah, uh, this is so not PG. Alrighty. Well, that's how you be flying, dog. Simple as that. And that was Rouge's first boss battle, by the way. This is Rouge. I've got a small problem. I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a Chaos Emerald. I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. Welcome to White Jungle. Cut through the jungle in 10 minutes. Alrighty. Essentially, Rouge had only had 5 minutes. Now there's 10 minutes late remaining before the island blows up. Alrighty, so let's go. We gotta go fast, Shadow. Now we're going back to save Rouge because she's stuck in the safe somehow. How did she get stuck in the safe? God knows why. Alrighty, but yep, Rouge got stuck in the safe. And she is stuck there and it's up to Shadow to go find her. Alright, here we go. So this stage looks very familiar to Green Forest, which is a stage that we played with Sonic a little earlier to escape from Prison Island. Um, but yes. Um, essentially they're in the same area right now, so... If you guys know what that means, you guys know what will happen next. Here we go. But anyways, we're gonna go fierce, and we're gonna find Rouge. This is, um... This is uh, Shadow's uh, second stage, by the way. So, would you believe Shadow only has four levels? That is right. Shadow only has four levels in his entire story mode in this entire game. Yes, yeah, Shadow has got the least levels out of all characters, I believe. Or, well, you could be su surprised being that he's one of the main characters in this game, and yet he's only got four levels. What the hell, Sega? What the hell? You couldn't give him an, an extra level? At least a level? Uh, come on, stop sparking up. There we go. Alright, but yeah, four levels, but uh, don't even get me wrong. Uh, these levels are great though. Just wish there was more of them. Either way, here we go. So, once we beat this stage, we're already halfway through Shadows' levels, which is unfortunate, but... Alright, but again, all stages are awesome. 
And speaking of awesome stages, we got a line of rings. Doesn't that look a little familiar? But unfortunately, I don't have the power up. To get the power up, head over here. Break this container and drop into this hole. And there is our power up. Let's grab it. The air shoes. Air shoes that move at light speeds along a path of rings. So doesn't that sound familiar? Like Sonic's light dash. Air shoes. Light dash. See? Bam! Light dash again. Bam! So that's how we get across. Now we got light dash with shadow, which is going to be very friendly to us. Just like it with Sonic, Light Dash is going to be relied on a lot with Shadow as well, so... Now we got Light Dash, it's going to be friends, they're going to be happy. Oh, I just got the Golden Beetle, sweet! I think we're actually almost at the end of the level as well. Oh yeah, we totally are. There it is! Simple as that. Less than three minutes and I made it to the end. And we got the Shadow's very first power-up. Ultimate victory. Indeed, it's an ultimate victory, Shadow. Well done. That blue hedgehog again of all places. We're heading back to Radical Highway yet again to now with Light Dash equipped we can equip something else that is right uh, like I said before numerous times in numerous previous episodes there's a hidden item in every level for every character um, I'll say this right now it doesn't include those racing levels with tails yeah it doesn't include those there's no power ups in those but there we go. Anyways, now that we're at this section here, I got here pretty quickly. Instead of going the actual way, turn around and go this way. As you can see here, we can do a somersault right underneath this. And there's a line of rings. We couldn't go through here because we didn't have the air shoes, but now that we do, and thanks to our friend Soap, for no reason, we can do like dash! And here is our power up. The flame ring. This allows you to do powerful fire somersault. So, just like in Sonic, um, this somersault can help you break iron containers. Honestly, don't think this weapon is mandatory for Shadow because you have to backtrack to get it. So, it was just one of those filler items for Shadow. It just goes to show his story is pretty short for him. But, then again, doesn't matter. A fire ring shoots Shadow. Look at that awesome roll. And just take your rocket back to the level at hand. And since that item was very quick and easy to find, I think I'll show off one more. That's right, again, there's a hidden item in every level and we taking a visit in a Meteor Herd with Knuckles. Alright, there's an item straight up the bat, and I'll show you exactly where it is. It's very easy to get to, the only issue is, get in there. <laughs> That's right. Your item is located in here. That's right, if you want to get your weapon with knuckles, you need to somehow work your way in here. Now, with every other door in every game always has a switch, then we need to go find it. And I know exactly where that switch is, and this is where I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's get that switch. Okay. See these meteors that's here on the ground? You can actually punch into them and... Thank you random meteor for breaking my meteor. 
thank you, Meteor, for breaking my Meteor. But no need to worry, these Meteors do respawn very quickly and very easily. But anyways, you can punch right into them, and you punch them into these doors. These doors are locked, and the only way you can open them is with Knuckles' fisting power. Like so. Alright, simple as that. And now the one that we need to find is right here. The switch is in this door. Why is this door? Because I had to put the meteor in the most ridiculous spot. Video game logic, people. Video game logic. Alright, so we need to smash this meteor across the floor, across the hole, and right into that door. Can we do it? Whoopsie. Ah, oh, he does it! He did it with one hit wonder. Break this iron cr uh, crate now that you've got your hammer arms. And there we go. The door is opening. There it is. Open. Here we go. Hit the spring over here. I totally didn't see it. I just hit it randomly by pure fluke. And drop down. Hey, here's our power up. Don't they look stunning? Well, let's grab them. No wonder why they look stunning. They're the sunglasses. See anything that you couldn't see before. See things that you couldn't see before, sorry. Change the action window with the Y button and press B to use it. Uh, just jump to take them off. So essentially the sunglasses helps you see things that you couldn't see before. Use the Y button to change your action window at the top right hand corner. Change it to sunglasses and press B. Oh yeah, we totally they weren't there before. Now you can grab them. And the spring wasn't here before as well, because that's where we landed. Now that we got the sunglasses, we can see it. Simple as that. And these rings weren't here before as well. Take off the sunglasses and they disappeared. Alright, so turn on the sunglasses again. And then we can see them again. You really get to use this item, it doesn't really serve much of a purchase, uh, purpose, but it makes sense for Knuckles to have him, because he is the explorer. And, well, yeah, it's more, one of more of those feeling items, you really need to use it. But honestly, it looks sweet and cool. So, that's um, Knuckles' hidden item in Meteor Herd. Alrighty. So Knuckles looks fine and sweet and sassy, doesn't he? Wow. Alright, look at my spec. You don't mess with this echidna. Oh, this echidna's gonna mess you up. Yeah. You don't mess with this the knuckles. Make any sense. Because I unlike the sun, space. I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. Because I have the spec. He does. All right. Okay, I think on that note, I'll end the episode off. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next episode. So, this has been Ninstar Rose. If you enjoyed the video, give it a little like. And you'll see more Sonic very shortly. This is Ninstar Rose. Signing out.